Welcome to Elon, North Carolina, Winter Ace Speedway Crit Series. This is week number two. I just rode off the Masters field, and now I'm racing the 3-4 field here. So the Masters was a pretty tough race, and I didn't get any break. I had to jump right onto this field. So I, in the Masters, I wasted 281 watts average. 300 watts was my best 20 minutes, and the normalized power was 323. On this race here, the uh, average power was only 216. Uh, my best 20 minutes in this race was 225 and uh, my, my normalized was 278 so you can see the big difference in uh, the amount of energy and effort between the two races here so let's look at my power curve here to give you a good idea of what type of rider I am and you can see with the 1509 max power um, I'm more of a sprinter type but I've been uh, I'm also a lead out man for my sprinter on team R cube and I uh, want you to focus here today on the 30 second power and the one minute power and that's usually where the lead out power is coming from on a lead out it depends between 30 45 seconds maybe a minute uh, depends on a lot of different factors but this is the power curve and this should give you an idea of the things that I was doing why I was doing them in the race and also uh, factoring in that I was extremely exhausted from the first race again I came down from New York and uh, if you get a chance, check out Northeast Criterium Racers on Facebook. We'd love to have you come give us a like. And uh, there's a lot of cool stuff going on, a lot of information. If you guys ever get a chance to come up from down south, don't be afraid. Come on up. We put on some pretty good races up here. And you'll have a lot of fun. And uh, we'll welcome you guys with open arms. Okay, so on to the race and the strategy for me being tired and being a sprinter type i'm trying to avoid any hard work today and i'm playing the part of the lazy sprinter kind of more so last week where i just sat in and i waited and a break got away and i think there was a, a chase behind the break so eight guys were off the front and we were racing for ninth place so i won that field sprint by the way but it was only for ninth place. Anyway, my man Ted from Butcher Box kind of gave me a hard time a little bit. I mean, not give me a hard time, but you know, he, he I got a, like a feeling like he was like, dude, why'd you just sit in? You know, like you can't just sit in and sprint, you know, gotta be a, have field awareness and be more proactive. So, you know, I thought about it and he's a cat one. He's really smart, he's high level. So he was actually in my head and making me think in this, this week's race. So Ted, pay attention, this one's for you. I was being more proactive. Now let me explain a couple of the players, the key players in this race. The man with the red and white kit, that guy is a player here. He's um, someone you wanna watch for. He's always in the breakaways and he's always off the front trying to sneak away. Anyway, his name is Zach Rivenbark. Zach Rivenbark. And he races for Team Supra. He won last week. He's super talented. He's pretty smart. And uh, he's always looking back. And I like looking back. That's very smart. Keep an eye on what's coming. If the guys didn't chase him down, then I would, I would bridge up where he wasn't too far off. So I'm keeping a close eye, and now you can see that the, the, uh, it was neutralized, so I'm dropping back, and then I'll slot back in to get more of a maximum draft here. Again, here's a look at the common theme of my tactical get off the front and back into the draft once the threat is neutralized.
Now Zachary from Team Supra is off the front up there and we're just waiting for someone to get a chase going. There's a guy, um, I think it's Triangle. He's getting going, so I'm starting to wind it up so I can jump on this little chase group and keep out of the wind and in the draft. Here's a look from behind. That's Greg Hahn on my wheel. He is the nicest guy. The guy is super strong. I, I raced four races with him. Uh, he's, he's a real ambassador to cycling and to the sport. Hey, what's up? Shout out to Greg. Yeah, we are hammering. We are going fast. Look at the uh, Peloton way back there. So we're making a jump across. We got a few guys in the front giving us the free ride. And uh, this is great. We're not having to do too much work. So here we are. There's Zach. He um, didn't get away. We chased him down. And we neutralized the threat. The threat of Zach getting away in a break. we got to keep an eye on him. Okay, so this is a, a serious section right here. Pay attention. There's a few guys up the road. Zachary's one of them, and I need to get up there. This guy um, has been doing a pull for a long time. He seems a little tired. He's not going to be able to make it. So I'm going to, he elbows me through, but I, I need to get up there fast. I see these other two guys, so I make a, a, a hard snap, and I'm coming across up to these guys. And there's a bunch of guys. My rear camera died, the battery. But there's a bunch of guys, um, and it's like fragmented behind me, but they're coming up also. So I, I snap up to these guys here and immediately get on the front to let them know I'm like ready to work. So I'm taking a pull and I elbow through. And these two guys were great. They were working with me. And uh, the three of us were uh, just chasing down that break up ahead that has uh, Zachary in it. So the three of us are working and, and a bunch one by one are, are bridging up onto us, but they're pretty tired. They're not able to uh, take a pull. That's fine. I don't care. Uh, these two gentlemen are putting in work and together the three of us are bridging up a bunch of guys up to the break, but that's what we got to do. Um, I'm happy to keep it a field sprint. I don't really like doing this work here. But these are going to be matches well spent because I don't need a bunch of guys in a break. Uh, you know, I don't want to sprint for ninth place again this week like I did last week. So I'm trying to make an effort here and being proactive into uh, seeing the outcome go my way. Okay, now there's a little coasting. Things are settled down. Uh, Zachary over on the right from Team Supra, he uh, seems to uh, be off the throttle. He knows he's been caught. So he's going to just kind of like drop back, get off the gas, and maybe drop back and get into the draft and get some recovery so he can just keep trying and trying until, you know, it finally works. Okay, don't take your eyes off of this part right here. Watch the guy right in front of me and look at the guy on the right with the stripe. He's coming to his left a little bit and bam. Whoa. So, yeah, the guy with the, he just kind of pushes into him. They bump and that happens a lot. But the guy right in front of me, it wasn't his fault at all. But he overreacts his wheel a little bit too much. He should try to better protect his wheel by keeping it straight. Don't let it go all over the place. But check out this female in the green up against the guardrail in the dirt. Like, whoa. Kept it straight. Nerves of steel. Yeah, seriously, like, kudos to this uh, young lady. She should get some kind of, like, uh, uh, top skills award top skills in a crit that was uh pretty good but anyway a scary moment especially right in front of me time is getting short and you can hear me yelling go 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 getting these guys motivated look up ahead you can see some gaps opening up and uh i just can't be closing every single gap because i'll have nothing left for the sprint there's only so many laps left and i'm getting nervous and uh, I need people to go. 
Yeah, sometimes you can say go, 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 and guys will go. Here, they didn't, or they just couldn't. Anyway, I'm going to make that bridge cross, so I'm putting my head down, and I'm uh, throwing out some watts and burning some matches, which I really didn't want to do, but I got to get up there. I didn't come all the way from New York just to be sitting back there watching these guys ride off into the sunset. Hey, Zach, are you looking at me? You're such a badass. Yeah, anyone who can just sit on the front and make the entire field chase is a badass. And uh, I'm tired from chasing Zach. So again, I'm doing my thing, jumping off from the front and getting deeper into the draft here. And uh, things are starting to slow down and the group is all back together. So it's uh, working out so far but I'm still cautious. And bam, there goes another attack. And again, up the inside. So it's strung out and the arrows are pointing to where the gaps are. This is not good. We gotta go. Fast forwarding and it's been strung out forever and there's still a gap there. But I think it's starting to all come back together. So I'm just gonna go around these two guys right here so I can get into a better draft right here. And I'm finally up onto the front group and um, the group is still strung out back there and there's still gaps, but it looks like it's slowing down. They know they've been caught. And you know, anytime it slows down after a big, long, hard chase, you know what's going to happen. Boom, a counterattack. Okay, so uh, there's one guy with a sizable gap on the field, and it was the winning move. First place is gone, and we are coming down to the final laps, it's getting fast, and we are all racing for second place here. This is gonna be a big field sprint for second place. Check out this moment here. You got a guy on the right in the blue and on the left in the red. This is a critical moment for me. Right here, I'm getting squeezed, but I gotta get through. So I gas on it, I get through, and I get on perfect position here. I'm sixth wheel, and we are coming into the bell lap. This is the bell lap right here. Here I am, sixth wheel in the blue R-Cube kit. We got those two guys in front of us with a small gap and another guy who won it and we're not going to catch him. So we're on the sprint side, which is the headwind side, and we're turning into the tailwind. And because it's a tailwind, I can go at like 450, 460 meters. It's a long distance sprint. So I'm not going 100 percent. I'm not trying to crack 14 1500 watts i'm trying to pace a sprint like a lead out and here we go down the back side stretch i'm coming up on these guys i'm passing these guys with speed i'm kind of losing control because i'm a crazy sprinter and i'm all over the road and i damn it i go wide there's a guy on my side i'm trying to beat him and i just miss him he gets second i get third I'm even lucky I got third because I went so wide, but I'll learn from my mistake. That's how it goes. Other than that, I was really happy. My wife was happy. My team captain, Dr. Rob Murray was happy. The owner of R Cube, Rich, love that guy. He was happy. Everybody was so happy for me. And I was happy. I was happy to uh, have a lovely wife that helps me out and she's like my team manager she calls me her uh, racehorse 
winner. I love it. I'm her racehorse. Yeah, I made her proud. And over to the podium. Congratulations to these two guys, first and second. I got third in today's race. And for the series, I was really surprised, but I, I snagged third place. Wow. And congratulations again to these two awesome riders, Zach and the other gentlemen. Uh, these guys are strong. Thank you, Velo, Triangle Velo. You guys are awesome. Great race. Uh, thanks for watching and peace. Thank you.